Hi everybody, this is Professor Vladimir Alvarez and welcome to this next third module. Well, to start, uh, this is the third module referred to English for academic and professional purposes. What is going to be this um, module about? Well, in this we're going to focus on some main purposes. What are these main purposes? Well. As you can see, we're going to focus on encourage participants to use vocabulary related to academic and professional purposes, foster students to practice conversation for academic purposes, and help students to improve their listening skills, as well as their fluency in English, and involve students in practical activities to improve listening and speaking skill. Okay, I am going to start talking about each of these purposes and give you a brief summary of what it, this uh, module is going to be about in each of the first purposes. Let's start with number one. Encourage participants to use vocabulary related to academic and professional purposes. Well, in this part we need to be, we need to, we are going to focus on the importance of vocabulary. The importance of vocabulary uh, has to do a lot with communication because the more vocabulary you have, the more you can have access to things and the more you can communicate with most uh, people. In this part, the focus is to communicate effectively. But what is it to communicate effectively? When we communicate effectively, it has to do with something called word choice. Yes, the word choice. And we, when we mean word choice, uh, is this. I am going to give you three examples to clarify what is the word choice. For example, we have an, a sentence like this one. Mary and John argued often. We can have this same sentence with a different word, almost meaning the same, almost. Like for example, Mary and John bickered often. And we can have a third sentence that means almost the same, but almost is not the same and Marie and John brawled often as you may know or you must know uh, argue is a term preferred when you have a kind of um, debate or discussion with someone yeah uh, in this case it, anger is present in the meaning but what about when we use the word bickered when we use the word bicker we mean argue about something uh, or about unimportant things so uh, when you just give a kind of comment or when you make a comment about uh, some uh, someone or you're uh, having this conversation with someone where we can bicker about something but actually it is important what about this one here brawl brawl it has a it has a very tough meaning when I mean tough meaning it is that well uh, anger it's present and it's a very loud argument with screams and everything um, well uh, in the second part uh, in the importance of vocabulary we're going to study this also the navigate the social environment when I mean navigate the social environment is the way we use language in linguistics uh, there is something called register what is this register about this register is like the different ways we use to speak to people in social settings what about the social settings well uh, we are not going to use the same language when we talk to a child or when we talk to an adult or maybe when we talk to a friend or colleagues or in different social settings um, this is something that we need to we need to use carefully when uh, managing the language the second uh, <clears throat> purpose of, of this module is to foster students to practice conversation for academic purposes what is it about well there are four things we have to keep in mind so this one is uh, is a one is an advice that I give you to to keep in mind is through making modeling. 
uh, along along the the course and along the the level and I'll go the module you're going to see what is modeling you're going to be modeling about modeling about is just simply try to imitate the way a, a word or a sentence or expression expression sounds in, well in different social uh, settings um, this is another one think as much as possible in English listen thinking of English is like uh, the main important thing here the more you think in English the more in, in touch and the more in contact you are with language so challenge yourselves when speaking when you challenge yourself when speaking is that okay uh, I am going to listen to this but if I don't understand I am going to listen again and again and again and again if I, and I cannot like 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 bear or I cannot succeed in understanding I have to look or I must look for other ways like for example uh, asking uh, someone that you know that no more English asking a teacher or, or looking for the ways on the web you know there are many ways so and the other thing is like avoid mental barriers this is something that you have to uh, you will most uh, English learners deal with when they uh, when uh, English learners uh, start in the process of communications they may get frustrated easily so uh, this frustration creates mental barriers no I can't it is difficult for me I cannot do that that person speaks fast no 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 try to avoid those mental barriers because those thoughts really put mental barriers in your heads so they cannot these barriers cannot keep forward when learning a language the third uh, um, purpose of this level is going to be help students to improve their listening skill as well as fluency in English what is this about well let's focus in like two parts which one is the first one the more you listen the more you learn and when I mean the more you listen the more you learn is that you um, you have to create a have an habit of listening uh, do not make like for example oh I am going to listen 15 minutes a day of English and that's it no uh, listen to English has to be very constant it has to be part of your life it's like you have to make like listening and speaking at the same time like a part of your body like like having an arm or a finger or an ear so it has to be part of your lives so and do it mechanically and methodically when you listen focus and concentrate when you do those things and be an active listener that's what I that's the idea that I ended with the first one when when I mean being an active listener is that you have to pay attention a lot onto what you're listening to because sometimes people uh, start listening things but they get like bored in less than than two or three minutes no you have to start listen and listen and listen and listen like for example not less than two hours a day listen English like not less than two hours a day how are we gonna do that well remember we each uh, di learn different ways uh, you can learn um, li you can learn listening through music uh, may some people may learn listening through um, sitcoms or maybe through movies remember there are like apps a lot of apps on the internet that you can improve English uh, these are these platforms of video that are called Netflix and that gives you the option to put subtitles in English or just in English so challenge yourself to listen to English being an active listener and focus if you are listening to something that you don't understand well pause it go backwards and re-listen again do it as many times as possible so you can become that active listener and be aware of what you're listening okay so the last <clears throat> uh, purpose of this uh, level of uh, this module is going to be involve students in practical activities to improve their listening speaking skill well in this part we're going to focus on these two um, main things autonomy remember the focus of this is to make 
all of you autonomous learners when learning English. Autonomy develops uh, is developed by each student and the compromise and the commitment each student has uh, when doing uh, activities, when doing listening, when doing uh, speaking. Um, if I am going to start a conversation, I have to look for ways or how to uh, start a conversation. If I am going to listen, I need to focus on something specifically. If I am going to write, oh, I'm going to write this, but I need to know how to do this. If I am going to read, oh, I am going to focus on these vocabularies and get the, the, the meaning of the words and the understanding. So you need to know how to do these things in order to become an autonomous learner. And the other thing is then when you communicate, you need to have this present, critical thinking. For example, if you're having a conversation and you need to debate with someone or you need to give an opinion, just try, try no. You have to first analyze. You have to use previous knowledge to make that analysis. And through that analysis, you can take decisions. You can make, you can give opinions. So that's critical thinking. Don't, don't, don't even, don't, don't speak just because. Okay, I think the first thing that comes into my mind. No, just try to analyze first. Try to compare uh, with the information that you have previous or what you have around you, and you can make decisions and you can give the opinions. So uh, this model is focused on on these four main purposes and I hope you learn uh, from this a lot uh, we are gonna have a lot of activities based on these um, purposes and to finish there is something important to let you know I just grab uh, <clears throat> a quote from a very important person that is a C is one of the advisors from this um, brand that is called Tesla the ones that make cars electric cars and it is like this for example opportunities don't happen you create them when I mean this is that you have to look for opportunities to use the language use uh, the language as much as possible this is Chris Grosser and there is another 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 um, proverb and he's a very wise proverb remember when I talked about uh, before of the um, frustration well try to avoid frustration remember frustration is a mental barrier so let's focus on this fall seven times and stand up eight so no matter how, ma how many times you make mistakes don't worry just keep forward and keep doing it remember there are a lot of ways you can do it and just clean up yourself and keep going well guys see you along the class bye bye